So now we'll be doing abdominal examination. So John, now I'm going to examine your tummy. For the purpose of examination, I would like you to undress above your waist. I have the chaperone to ensure your privacy. May I proceed? Yes. Do you have got pain anywhere? No. Right. So I'll be gentle and quick, but at any point of time you feel uncomfortable or you want me to stop, just let me know. I'll stop my examination. Okay. Thank you. Let's do the hand examination first. Uh, John, could you please show me your hands? So now we are looking for any palmar erythema. We are looking for any doctrine contracture. Could you please turn them over? Now we are looking for if we have got any nail changes. Now, John, uh, I just want you to do like this. Right, so we are looking for a shamrut sign. That is what we do for uh, finger clubbing. Right, could you please uh, extend your arm? and cock up your wrist. Perfect. So we're looking for any esterexes. We're looking for any flapping tremors. Thank you. Now, John, I'm going to pull your eyelids down and I want you to look up for me. Could you please look up? So we're looking for any conjunctival pallor. Could you please look down for me once? Now we are looking for any icterus. Now, John, is it possible if you can open your mouth for me? And if you can lift the tongue to the roof of your mouth. Here, we are looking for angular stomatitis, oral candidiasis, mouth ulcers, and glossitis. You can relax now. Now I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna feel lumps and bumps in your neck. Is that all right? So mainly in this uh, abdominal examination, we have to look for left side of lymph node, left supraclavicular, because this signifies workose lymph nodes that is specific for gastric carcinoma. So mainly left side of supraclavicular lymph nodes. On the chest, mainly we are looking for spider nevi and gynecomastia. On inspection, abdomen is not distended Amblicus is centrally placed and inverted, no scar marks, no striae, no visible pulsation in the tummy. Now I'm going to have a feel of your tummy. Do you have got pain anywhere? No. Right. So while we're doing the palpation, what we're doing is we are having a look at the patient's face if there is any tenderness. And we try to make an S kind of formation, meaning is we are trying to cover all the nine quadrants of the tummy. So first we do superficial palpation, that is for tenderness. So as we can see, there is no tenderness on superficial palpation. Now, John, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to press a bit deeper. Please bear with me for some time. So after superficial palpation, what we are doing is we are doing deep palpation. Same thing. You're making same as, but what you're trying to do is uh, deep palpation. So that was our deep palpation. Now let's feel the liver, how we have to feel the liver. Now, John, what I want you to do is just take deep breath in and out for me. Yeah, keep doing that. Now we have to remember one thing, when patient is going in, we go in. Yeah, continue. So patient is going in, patient is breathing in, we go in. Yeah, breathe in, we go in. So this is how we have to do. We start from right iliac fossa and we go up. And what you're trying to do is, you're trying to feel the border of the liver. Right, you can relax. So I cannot feel the edge of the liver. Let's do Murphy sign now. That is done for eliciting acute cholecystitis. John, I want you to take deep breath in and hold it for some time. Right, now what we have to do is when we press on the subcostal margin here, patient is breathing in and holding the breath, but when you press the subcostal margin here, 
If the gallbladder is inflamed, a patient will be having severe pain here. So this is your Murphy sign for acute cholecystitis. You can relax now. Now let's feel for the spleen. You know what happened is liver is here on the right side and liver grows like this. So what we have to do is we start from the right iliac fossa. Whereas in spleen, uh, you will see it in the left side. But if it is growing in size, if it is increasing in size, it's going to come again to the right side. So again, when we are palpating the spleen, we're going to start from the right iliac fossa. Let's see how we have to do it. John, I just want you to take deep breath in and out for me. Yeah. Yeah. So when he's breathing in, we're going in. Remember, breathing in, you go in. Yeah, you can relax. I cannot feel uh, spleen as well. Now let's see kidney. For the kidney, what you do is just press one hand here and with the other hand, you try to palpate. If there is any increase in the size of uh, the kidneys, what's going to happen, you'll be able to feel them. Otherwise, kidneys, you will see they are non ballotable Same on the other side as well. You put your hand and you try to feel for the kidneys. Now, another thing, iota, how to feel the iota. So what you can do is just put your hands here and you try to feel. This is usually we do for AAA, abdominal aortic aneurysm. Thank you. Okay, let's do liver spam. So we'll start from there and you have to percuss. And what you will feel, the sound is going to be tympanic here in the abdomen. So we will be going up till it becomes dull. Let's see. here so can you just put your finger here perfect now you start from up there it's uh, uh you'll be able to percuss for the lungs okay so this is so this is what we can say is our liver spam now let's do shifting dullness you can relax now for shifting dullness what we have to do it's for the fluid collection in the tummy so let's start from the center and what we have to do is we're going to go to the left side of the patient. So it's a tympanic sound, tympanic sound, tympanic sound, tympanic sound. What's going to happen if there is a minor fluid collection on the side, it is going to become dull. And then what we do, we tell the patient to tilt to our side. Let's tilt. And we still keep our finger there only. And usually what we do is we wait for 30 seconds because if there is any fluid collection, what's going to happen, the fluid will go to the other side. And this area, which was dull, and now if we percuss it again, what's going to happen, it is again going to become tympanic. So what happened is dullness has been shifted. All right, you can relax now. Now let's do fluid thrill that is done for major effusion in the tummy. John, is it possible if you can put your uh, left hand on the tummy like this? Yeah, that's perfect. So what you do is uh, you just put one hand here. From the other hand, you just uh, tap it like this. And if there's a major fluid collection, you'll be able to uh, feel the fluid on the other hand. So this is fluid thrill. You can relax now. John, now I'm going to listen to your tummy. I can hear the bowel sound and make sure uh, before we say absence bowel sound, we have to hear at least for two minutes. Thank you. To complete the examination, we will be checking for uh, hernial sites and we should be doing digital rectal examination. Thank you. Mm -hmm.